getting out of here fright. We're out here to show so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. That's right. The Bible is your history book. Our history is contained in the Bible. Let me get Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if our people didn't listen to God, what would happen? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. All these curses, that's how you know who we are in the last days. Right. These curses only affected our people. Right. Read. Right. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So when I come in the city and I look around, I see our people scattered out along the grounds on the city, just laying here. Who is this affecting? This is affecting mostly our people. Read it again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. And our people are in the worst economic state in the city. Only our people are in the worst economic state Whoa. as a people. Whoa. Whoa. We are in the worst. Read. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And throughout time, our people were cursed in the field. Cursed in the field. When were we cursed in the field? During slavery. During slavery, we were cursed in the field. We were forced to work for nothing. Right. For no wages. Cursed in the field. Verse 32. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Shall be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So we had no economic power, no military might. We had no strength to get our people back. Why? Because this was a curse. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hands. Verse 45, 43. Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shall come down very low. All right, my man, let me ask you a question. What group of people owns these buildings right here? White man. White. Huh? The white man. I'll, come close. Come close. Come close. I like the way you just came out and said it, right? Yeah. Who, owns these, who owns these tall buildings? The white man. White man, right? Read that again. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. How high? Very high. So high they can look down on the entire city and see us in this low economic state. What are we reading? We're reading the Holy Bible. Your, right. your pastor will never read this scripture to you. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. So look around. Who do you see down very low? Us, right? Our people. So what are we doing? We're proving that we are the people of the Bible. Right. Okay? Now we took a lot of L's and we're still taking some L's today, right? But what's important about learning that? The importance is learning that we are the people of the book, right? Let me get um, Romans, Romans chapter 3. Because what we got to do, we're going to show you the importance of knowing who we are. What we're teaching, the reason we're out here on the street corners yelling at our people, we're not yelling at them. We're yelling loud enough so that they can hear what we're saying. We're explaining to our people something that no one else is telling our people. Matter of fact, Deuteronomy 7-6. We're explaining that your, our people are the greatest people on earth, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. The reason I say so-called is because those are by words. It's actually a curse that over here we're called African Americans, right? It's a curse that we're called Jamaicans. It's a curse that we're called Haitians. And we're the same people. Right. We're the same people. This is what God says about these people that were cursed. Read. 
The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people. You are a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. You go to church? You go to church? You ever been to church? You never yeah. been to church? Your pastor, you ever hear your pastor say this? Uh, Read this scripture. It's no wonder you don't go anymore. Yeah. First Corinthians 15, 33. Because you as a young black man, are y'all in college? Y'all college students? Okay. You may not see it now, but there's a war going on against the black man. The young black man in particular, right? It's not a physical war because, of course, they got military. They can come in with tanks and just blow you away. It's a spiritual war that we're fighting, right? So I'm going to show you how. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So the very manner of a man that you are is being corrupted through evil communications. What does that mean? What do we listen to? When you, you drive? Okay, right now in your car, when you turn on the radio, or when you put your CD in, or when you put your iPod in, whatever you listen to, what kind of music you listen to? What? Shoot something up. What? Shoot something up. Shoot something up? Okay. Our rap music that's targeted to the young black man has some of the worst messages on the planet. That's right. And it's directed at you. Right. What are they talking about? Killing your brother. Having sex with as many women as you can. Don't marry them, because that's lame, right? Don't get married, but just have sex with them, right? Do drugs. I got more money than you. My car looks better than yours. What are we talking about? Read it again. Be not deceived. Don't even fool yourself. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So the manner of man that you are is being corrupted. That's the spiritual warfare that you're in right now. Right. This is urgent. This is urgent. Because let's say you go into any corner store, right? What do they have at the front of the corner store behind the register? Right in plain sight so you can see it. Break it out. Man. What are they selling you? Oh, the cigarettes. 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 I didn't even have to elaborate. You got every choice of cigarette known to man right there behind the counter. Get first up. All right. So what we're doing, we're trying to let you know that what we have to do is come back to God's laws. That's the only thing that's going to protect you from this evil communication. Right. Because right now, they're giving you a message of self-destruction. You remember that song back in the 80s, Self-Destruction? Headed for Self-Destruction? That's probably a little too old for you. But anyway, songs like that has been replaced with songs like Chopper, Can't Nobody Tell Me Nothing, Be a, be a, be a Hoe, Sleep With As Many Men As You Want, Sleep With... But where's the responsibility? Where's the song they're talking about be cool with your brother. What's the song Bring talking about? Build with your brother. Teach. What's the song talking about? Building your community. Bring it up. Have you ever heard a song talking about building your community? Because it's evil communication. You got what I want? Yes, sir. Read what you got. Now check this out. It gets deeper. The book of First Ezra, five verse seventy-three. Read. And by their secret plots, because these are secret plots against you. Read. And popular persuasion. Facebook, Instagram, all the, the, the popular social media sites. Read. And commotions. Come on. They hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. So what we're trying to do is build with our people, right? But that's being hindered through their secret plots. Because guess what? Who owns, who owns these record labels that these yeah. artists these artists are, 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 are signing to Bring signing it up. life with. Yeah. Who owns Is it our people? Who own the record label? The same people that own these high buildings, right? The same people. Read it again. And by their secret plots. Their secret plots. Because you don't see them in their rooms together when they say, okay, you're going to sign to cash money or whatever label, right, that we own, right? This is what you're going to rap about, right? 
You don't get a choice to say, you know what? I want to rap about building my community. No, you're going to talk about big booty women. You're going to talk about big rims, how much money I got, you ain't got. That's okay to talk about, right? But if you talk about building with your brother, no, 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 we're not going to sign you. You're not going to get that BMW. You're right. not going to get that loan from us. Because that's all it is, the loan. Once you sign that label, you own them. They own you. They own the, the, the artist. Ask Kanye West. He got a record deal now that he can't get out of. He's trying to get, he's trying to get, he's trying to fight now to get out of his contract because guess what they told him? You gotta keep rapping until you dead. That's part of his contract. So it's secret plots that's stopping us from building, all right? So let, let me show you how we, what we need to do to build, right? You got any questions so far? Who? Now, who did this to us? Did, who did this to us? Did what? Be more specific. Who? What group of people? What group of people that's out there right now doing it to us? You tell me. The synagogue, right? The ones who call themselves Jews, right? Okay, so do you have a question? Yeah, so so what do we do about it? What, what should we do? All right, let me ask you a question. Uh, hold, hold, hold that thought. Let me ask you a question. What we're out here doing is teaching two things. We're teaching who you are and what we need to do, right? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? All right? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to prove to you who you are according to the Bible, all right? Deuteronomy 28.15, I'm going to go back to this scripture. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to you, and then I want you to figure out. This should be easy to figure out. You, you girls are pretty intelligent. You're answering all the questions. So this so is what you do. Tell me who this is talking about. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What we're just reading is what Moses told the children of Israel in the wilderness Bro. thousands of years ago, saying, this is what's, this, these are the commandments that God gave us. These commandments consist of what you would call today rules of the game where you live, how you treat your brother, right? Uh, how you treat your people, how you treat your women. Everything that the music industry right now is, is talking opposite of, trying to get you to do, right? He's saying if you don't follow these, all these curses are gonna happen to this group of people. Read. Verse 16, cursed shall thou be in the city. So if we didn't obey those commands, we're gonna be a cursed people in the city. Right. Wherever we go, we're going to be at the lowest condition, the lowest state economically, as a group, mentally, spiritually. We're at the, we're the lowest of the lowest, right? Three. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Verse 45. Deuteronomy 28, verse 45. This is one of the curses. Three. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. That means they're going to chase you wherever you go. Right here in Atlanta, you look around, you see our people are the lowest, right? You go to Detroit, you see our people are the lowest. You go to LA, go to the hood, where you're going to find our people. What are we reading? We're reading the Holy Bible. This has been in the church. Why don't they talk about that? Why didn't Pastor talk about that? No wonder you left. All right? Read. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And right now we're destroyed as a people. We are destroyed. We don't know who we are, right? So what we're doing now, we're building our people up, right? But it's a spiritual battle. Let me prove that. 1 Corinthians 10, 4, 2 Corinthians 10, 4. This is a spiritual battle, meaning your psychology, your psyche, the way you think. They're altering the way you think. Like when you pull up to a brother right now, right? And you look over at him, he look over at you, right? What's gonna happen after too long? It ain't gonna happen too long, cause what? Somebody gonna say something. Yeah. And it could, something could break out, right? Yeah. It's the way we think. It says, hey, what's, what's good, brother? How your family doing? How your kids doing? No, it's, nigga, what you looking at? Right. It's the way we think that's corrupted right. by the music we listen to. The things we watch on TV, our social media. Read what you got. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't use the AK-47. We don't use a machine gun, a handgun, a knife for this war. This is a different type of war. Read. But mighty through God to pulling down the stronghold. Stronghold.
stronghold meaning the strongholds on our head, like Christianity, for example, that says God loves everybody. And we just read that God's only dealing with a certain people. He's only cursing a, a certain people and blessing a certain people. It's, it's a stronghold in our people's mind. Read. Casting down imagination, Islam, Buddhism, all these different imaginations, Egyptology, all these thoughts, we're, we're destroying them right now. That's what we're doing with this bike. Ruin. This, this book is going to get rid of all of our problems for the brothers and sisters that listen. Ruin. All right? Read. And every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. Ruin. Now, let me show you again how the music is going against the knowledge of God, and then I want you to tell me who you are. If this is talking about you. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Whenever you hear a heart in the Bible, it's talking about your mind. It's talking about your mind. You hear, you know, old school Christians say, oh, Jesus is in my heart, he's in my heart. This is an organ that pumps blood. And every time you hear the Bible says uh, heart, most of the time it's talking about your mind. Right. Because remember, this is a psychological, it's spiritual. Meaning the way your spirit, the way you act. All right, read. Thou shalt in any wise Rebuke thy neighbor. So if your brother's going off, you need to tell me you're going off. Hey man, you sleeping with that sister, that man's wife. You know what I'm saying? That's wrong. You ain't supposed to be doing that, man. Right. That could end up. Something could go down. Right. You, that's what rebuke means. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to correct him. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We ain't supposed to have hate for each other. Right. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. So those laws that, that he gave us, that he said, if you, you, you keep these laws, you're going to be above all people. But if you break them, you're going to be down here. You're going to be in this low state. All these curses are going to happen to you, right? That's what sin is when you break the laws. Matter of fact, um, I, I can prove that. Let's go to 1 John, and then we're going to go back to Deuteronomy. So this, who's this book sounds like? Does it sound like it's talking about everybody? It could be talking about everybody, right? All right. Matter of fact, Joel 2.27. What's the Joel difference between the, between the Gentile and non-Gentile? I get to that in a second. Let me just finish explaining this. I'm gonna get right back to you. Don't go nowhere. Be patient. I gotta go soon. I gotta be out of the job right. by five. Read what Good. you got. Okay. Joel 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Who is he speaking? God. Israel of these 12 tribes. This is the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. This is who they call us uh, today. These are the bywords, like Black American, African American, Puerto Rican. Cuban, and these are the names that God calls us in the Bible, right? Read. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. So the Most High is only dealing with a specific group of people. That's the Israelites. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks about. Good. That's what we're teaching. So you understand that? Now, your, your father, we be from the so-called Will you be so-called African-American, black? you see yourself on the side? What would you be, African-American? Then you'd be from the mighty tribe of Judah. Hey, right? Right? Same tribe Christ came out of. Right. What about yourself? Judah, right? Mighty tribe, yourself. Judah. Judah, all right? So I'm looking at three Judites, right? Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Let me show you what you guys should be doing. Now that you know who you are, because there's a lot of people now because of this teaching, because we're getting out here putting in this work, our people know who they are. But there's another part to it. There's work to be done. We have to wake up the rest of our people. Read. The book of Zephaniah 2, verse 1. Come on. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Black unity is in the Bible. Right. Good. Black unity is in the Bible. Black Latino and Native American unity right now is in the Bible. Right. Somebody give me a Bible dictionary. I want to explain to this man the difference between the Jews and Gentiles is. But, um, so now that we know who we are, we have to do something. We have to keep God's laws because God's laws that. is what got, not following God's laws is what got us at the bottom. Right. So what do you think will happen when we start following God's laws? Are they start lifting them. Matter of fact, yeah, let me get that. Deuteronomy 28. What you said was biblical. It's, it's just like, a, the, the, you remember Jay-Z's album, The Cursing and the Blessing and the Curse? Okay, where do you think he got that from? Not that he was quoting verbatim, but the, the blessings and the curses come from the Bible. 
okay? The main blessings and curses. Right now, we're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. That's what got me believing the Bible, right? I tried Islam, I tried uh, Pan-Africanism, I tried all kind of doctrines. But when I read the curses and I found out how real they are today to our people, right. and I found out the most high was only for us, I started believing, and I, this is what I started doing. I started keeping the law. But read 28, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we would listen instead of not listen, read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Because he gave us the rules of the game, how to live, how to treat each other, which we don't follow now. Read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. We will be running these buildings. We will be on top of this world. Because this, this whole system is about to be destroyed. Right. right. That's right. Once, once enough of us wake up, Most High is going to come back and destroy this place. Right. right. And guess who's going to be on top? We are if we're keeping these laws. Right. Right. Now, now, let me get you the def definition of Gentiles. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. This is a group of scholars. Not, not like Negro scholars off the block, right? These are real scholars, right, that study this Bible left and right. They know this book inside out. They have degrees and credentials to make themselves, to call themselves, to have the, the, the nerve to even call themselves a scholar. Not like some of these people who call themselves a doctor this, a doctor that, but they ain't got no, no credentials. These are real, a group of real scholars that wrote this book. And they're gonna, we're gonna get you the uh, dip, difference between Gentiles and, what, Jews and Gentiles? Uh, the gift, yeah, yeah. between okay. what, what separates us. Like, why, like, okay. Gentiles! This is what a Gentile is. We don't, usually, it means a non-Israelite people. Usually, sometimes. What defines an Israelite people? What defines the Israelite people? The Israelite people are the chosen people of God. They're sons of, and daughters of the living God, and it's by flesh, it's by uh, lineage, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.